On November 6, 2021, I published my first Smart Blind video. That video featured the Zemi Smart Roller Blind. Since then, I've featured two other videos involving Zigbee blinds. I did a review on a Smart Wings Zigbee Roller Blind in January of this year, and more recently, I did a review on a Third Reality Zigbee Smart Blind in June. I will leave links for each of these blind reviews if you'd like to check them out. By the way, be sure to watch to the end of this video and I'll comment on the response that I received from ZemiSmart regarding their plan for converting their current custom device handler to an edge driver. Since this video is about blind motor management, I'm going to comment about my experience with the battery life in the three blinds which I've installed. The third reality blind was only recently installed, and like most blinds, it states that the batteries may last up to six months. What's unique about the third reality blind is that it's powered by four AA batteries, whereas the other two blinds I've installed use a tubular motor that is powered by a lithium ion battery. The tubular motor batteries are sealed inside the tube, which contains the motor. Therefore, if the battery fails inside of either of the tubular motors, I'm buying a brand new tubular motor at a tune of $60 to $80. If the batteries fail on the third reality blind, I simply replace the four AA batteries for a cost of around $5. Let me comment on the battery performance between the three blinds. The third reality blind is newly installed, so it's been only in operation for about a month. Unfortunately, the third reality blind, when installed in the SmartThings app, has no indication of battery status, so I have no read on battery health. As mentioned previously, both SmartWings and Zemi Smart blinds have the lithium ion batteries. Both blinds are automated to open and close in the morning and evening, so two cycles daily. When making this video, I noted that my Smart Wings blind has been in operation for a total of five months and the battery level is at 27%. On the other hand, my Zemi Smart blind stopped working after only three months. Now I'm unsure if I contributed to the battery's demise or if it was just a defective battery. But at one point I had placed the blind on solar power and I subsequently found that the battery had fully discharged. I recharged the battery, and after that, the battery had only last about one week. Eventually, the battery would not accept the charge, so the motor stopped working altogether. I reached out to ZemiSmart, and they graciously agreed to send me a replacement motor. They told me that this was an improved version of the motor, so without further ado, let me show you how to replace a tubular motor. Let's begin with a review of the contents that I received from ZemiSmart. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what was shipped to me in the package. We have the manual, we have the motor mounting hardware, we have a solar panel with uh, two adhesive strips, we have a short charging cable. This is USB-C to USB, so this would be used to connect to the uh, solar panel if we're going to use that for charging. A long charging cable, the motor itself, and then we have the remote and the remote mounting hardware. To charge the motor, you need to connect the USB-C to USB cable for a period of six hours. There is a red light that appears on here while charging, and uh, that red light disappears once the motor is fully charged. To remove the blind, and remove these two screws on the end bracket and just remove that bracket out of the end and then this whole underlying bracket will come off. This is the piece on the other side that you put in there to, to secure the blind. You want to simply roll this blind on into itself so we can expose the blind tube. Okay, so you see there is a plastic tab that's in a slot. 
and you just remove. And as you see, there's a slot here with a set screw right in the middle. The set screw holds the blind in place. And then it's just a matter of taking out this set screw That screw is out, and then you can pull the motor out. Now the first thing I noticed is that the other motor is shorter. And so you see here, I marked this place so that I can have a way to attach this motor when I put it in place. Okay, so with the old motor out, I'm gonna put the new motor back in and slide it through that hole that I just drilled. I countersink that hole so that when I put the screw in, the screw will go down far enough so that it won't block the reinsertion of the blind into that slot there. All there is is a plastic strip on the, that blind that kinda inserts fits in that slot that kind of holds the blind in place. So with the screw in, we can reinsert the blind. And then once that's fully inserted, then we can get the wall mounting bracket and start replacing the brackets on that. So that blind is fully reinserted. We can roll the blind back onto the tube. And once that's done, then we'll start work on the Again, the wall mount bracket, and I have to change out the two end brackets because this particular blind uh, uses different, different brackets. So as you can see, that is a round peg. The former blind had a rectangular peg on the end, so I need to insert that. This is on the, the side opposite of the motor, and here you see on the wall mounting bracket, see that rectangular pin that's on there, I need to switch it out so I have the round pin, or capable of receiving the round pin. So old bracket off, and new bracket on. And what I don't show here is that other bracket on the motor side, I've also replaced that one, and then mounted the motor in place. So here I am trying to pair it, to do that, you press the button three times, then it should pair. But as you can see, nothing's happened here, so I didn't think I was successful. So I thought that uh, the blind did not pair, but I went into all devices and searched in here, and I found Thing, and that happens to be the exact way that the device showed up previously when I paired the previous Zeme Smart Motor. Here I am into my SmartThings account and I'm in the My Devices tab. So let's go there. Let's go down and find Thing in the list. This is sorted alphabetically. So there it is here. Let's click on that. We're gonna go ahead and edit this. And I'm gonna change Thing to Blind. And we'll change the label to the same thing. First of all, we're going to change the device type handler to the Zemi Smart device handler. There it is, the Zemi Smart Zigbee blind. And I'm going to change group to kitchen where I have my blind installed and we'll hit update. I heard the blind beep up there just now. Uh, so let me go into my app. Let's go to all devices. So I'm going to go to all devices. We're going to look for blind. There it is there. So it appears to be installed. We'll take it upstairs and we'll see if it's working correctly. So moral of the story is go ahead and tap the pairing button three times to put it in pairing mode scan for devices, you will not see anything show up here in your, your phone. So what you need to do then is just go into your SmartThings account and see if Thing was installed.
Okay, so I'm in my app and I'm ready to test. So we're going into blind. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to hit close since it's open. I've already set my limits. So everything's set up and ready to go. Let's hit close. And uh, there, as you can see, the, the blind is closing. It should stop right at the level of the windowsill. And it does. So now let's uh, hit blind open and open. So it appears to be working fine. Back in business. At the beginning of this video, I said I would comment about a response that I received from ZemiSmart regarding their plan for converting their current custom device handler to an edge driver. The ZemiSmart blind uses the ZemiSmart Zigbee blind device handler, which is a custom device handler. According to SmartThings, it is the responsibility of the device manufacturer to convert custom device handlers to the new SmartThings edge drivers if the device manufacturer wants to maintain product compatibility with SmartThings after the switch to Edge drivers. An email I received from ZemiSmart on June 3rd stated that they currently do not plan to convert the custom device handler to a compatible Edge driver. If they stick to this position, the blind will no longer connect with the SmartThings hub once the switch is turned off on the Groovy IDE. On the other hand, the Smart Wings blind and the Third Reality blind both use a supported device type handler. These device type handlers are in the process of being converted to edge drivers by the SmartThings developers. So there is edge driver support for Third Reality and for the Smart Wings blinds. Support for the Zemi Smart blinds in SmartThings is uncertain at this juncture. So if you have questions or comments, please let me hear about them in the comments below. Assuming that I've earned it, please tap on that like button. Doing so recommends this video for other viewers. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you and God bless.